Hi, it's Penny here, and today we are on the floor to build my October TBR because I wanted to be sitting down next to my TBR cat. I have only got 12 things left on my TBR if you count this chunker up here. Uh, I am discounting a few books from series that I can't really start yet. I put them aside, but because of that, I'm going to pick four books off my TBR for the next three months, and then theoretically, I should be able to finish all of my TBR. So we're looking like we're making pretty good progress on that reading goal. But as usual, I am going to be picking those four books using my TBR machine website that I made that spits out random reading prompts. I feel like this is going to get really hard for these last three months to match the prompts up against the remaining books, but we're going to try. Also, because it's October, I'm going to try really hard to pick some of the scarier, like ones with supernatural stuff or thrillers. There's not many here that actually fit that, but we're going to try. Anyway, let us pick our first prompt and see how we go. Okay, so the first prompt is read a book that won an award. I'm pretty sure I have at least one book on here that's won something. Like, I've got The Martian, which must almost definitely have won some kind of award. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with The Martian. It's not very October-y, spooky-ish, but I am expecting to like this. So this is a science fiction all about this guy who ends up stuck on Mars and has to survive until I can come back and save him. I have seen the movie and I did really enjoy it. I thought it was just a lot of fun, so I'm hoping I'll like the book as well. All right, prompt number two. Read a book written by an author from a different country than you. This is always really easy for me because I'm from New Zealand and most of these authors are not. In fact, I've read all my New Zealand books, so pretty much I can pick anything here. What am I going to pick? <laughs> I think what I'm going to pick is the only thriller that's on this shelf. So this is Blaze by Stephen King. Uh, originally he published this as Richard Bachman. I don't actually know anything about what this is about. I just got it secondhand and it was Stephen King. Some kind of con artist who's now going to kidnap an infant heir to a family fortune? Oh, but then maybe the brains of the operation has died, or maybe not, and he's left running around with a baby as a hostage? Okay. Stephen King can be fun, so that's good. Let's try prompt number three. Read a book written by multiple authors. I think there's two choices here. I could either read Spirit Fox, which is by Miki Zakaraku and Jennifer Wingett, or I've also got this short story anthology. This is set in the world of the Mortal Engines thing, but I know that's a series and I don't actually know where these short stories fit in the bigger world. So maybe this shouldn't even be on my TBR yet. I'm going to put this one aside for research and I'm going to put this one on my TBR. Um, I mean, it kind of has this fall kind of look on the front. To be honest, in New Zealand it's spring, there's flowers everywhere. It doesn't fit that whole October fall aesthetic at all. But maybe this book kind of does. And again, this is one I don't know anything about. Some girl who is spirit linked to a fox. Oh, but the fox cub was destroyed at the moment both it and the girl was born. And so then the spirit has been stuck in her body. Okay. This is another one that I got really cheap secondhand. Then we've got our last prompt, read a book with a person on the cover. I thought that would be easy, but actually I think my only choice is Jaren by Kate Elliott. So this is a fantasy series, but I think it's also like borderline sci-fi. I actually read the second book of the series a long, long time ago, not realizing it was the second book in a series. And I just remember it was about this woman who's from like a more advanced sci-fi type culture trying to live with this nomadic tribe and trying to fit in with them as she has like some kind of romance, which I'm a little bit worried that I won't like that part. But I remember when I read the second book being really annoyed realizing it was the second book and that I was missing out on a lot of the backstory. So I'm excited to get to that one too. So that means these will be my four physical books for October. Um, I managed to at least fit one thriller in there. You know, I tried, I tried, but it's spring here, so I'm no good at fall. There is also a chance that sometime in October we will come out of a lockdown here in New Zealand and the library will reopen, at which point I'm somewhat afraid I'm going to have a bunch of library holds come through, but 
I'm not worrying about that because I can't predict the future. I do however also have a whole bunch of audiobooks which will help me with the rest of my reading goals other than finishing off TBR Zero. So let me go through them. Firstly I've got Death Mask by Jim Butcher. So this is the, I want to say it's the sixth book in the Harry Dresden Files. This is a series all about this man who is a wizard, kind of the only wizard in Chicago and he's solving supernatural crimes. Also things a kind of shit in the magical world at the moment and he's suffering because of that kind of a war with the vampires and the fairies aren't very happy with him either. It is a series that can be quite misogynistic however maybe it's getting slightly better now that I'm getting through the books. There are like 17 books in this series so it's going to take me a while to catch up and I'm not sure if I'm going to give up at some point but I'm picking up the next book in the series which I think that this book is the only one on my TBR that's going to help me with my reading goal of getting down my series in progress but I mean I guess I can't make progress on every reading goal every month and so it is what it is. Oh wait I lied the next book that I do have is not an audiobook but it will also mean catching up on a series so I've got Defect by Nino Supri. So this is carrying on from Finna which is set in this furniture store that kind of has all these portals through to different multiverses. Um, in the first book we had two staff members having to go and try and save a customer that had fallen through one of these portals. I don't actually know what the second book is about but I know these were really short and fun and so I wanted to pick it up since I really love multiverse stuff. Then I also had a look through the thrillers that were available as audiobooks at the library and the only two I really managed to pick up um, before I realized I had too many audiobooks to listen to is The Wives by Taryn Fisher. I actually think maybe this is the one that Cindy, Read with Cindy, really roasted. However, in general I think that my reading taste is not very similar to Cindy's so I'm not paying attention to that. I don't really know anything about it though. A husband who has a whole bunch of different wives and things get thrillerish, I guess. I also have Nine Perfect Strangers by Leanne Moriarty. So Leanne Moriarty also wrote Big Little Lies, which I really enjoyed. And recently, YouTube has been pushing very hard on the ads for the TV series of Nine Perfect Strangers. Obviously, Amazon and YouTube really want me to watch that show, but I would like to read the book first to see whether I would consider being interested. So I had a look, my library had the audiobook, I'll try and read it in October. I don't know much about this one either except that I think there are nine perfect strangers who go to this like health retreat to try and fix their problems but things are not quite what they seem I assume since it's a thriller. Then I also have the audiobook of 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. So this is a book that came up once when I was trying to see like what was the history of magical realism and this they were saying was one of the first books that counts as magical realism so I wanted to read it and I've heard a lot of good things about it well I've heard mixed things about it again I don't really know what it's about I think perhaps it's quite abstract and not very clear what it's about but I did put it on my list of books that I wanted to read this year so I'm gonna try to actually get to it. Then I also have We Could Be Heroes by Mike Chen. So this is a science fiction I think where just a couple of people gain superpowers and one of them is using it for not so great things while another one is kind of using it to save lives and be a bit of a hero, a superhero and I guess they will come into conflict in some way. I think the thing that actually interested me about this book was what the superpowers were but at this point I've forgotten what they are and I kind of don't want to spoil myself by looking it up again so hopefully when I get to it uh, that will be true and I haven't just made up some kind of past memory. Then I also have The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones. So this is a horror written by a Native American author. I've heard it's very scary and I wanted to fit at least one horror into my October TBR because one of my reading goals for the year was to read more horrors and more thrillers. So I thought October I should at least try to make some progress on this. I am doing okay at it but I think I'm still falling behind a little bit. But there are a few thrillers and horrors on this TBR so it's helping me to catch up and I also wanted to read a lot more sci-fi which I think I'm doing pretty well in this TBR with that as well. So as far as my reading goal to read certain genres more I think we're doing okay with that. I guess I should say I don't really know much more about the only good Indians either but I don't think I want to know more until I get into it. 
And the last audiobook that I also have will help me with my science fiction genre goal. So that is The Space Between Worlds by Makaya Johnson. So this is a story where people can go to other multiverses, but only if their other selves in their other multiverse don't exist or have died. And we're following this one girl who can go to lots of different multiverses because for some strange reason, a lot of her other selves have died. And I think she's just investigating and trying to find out why all her other selves have been dying and perhaps she's in danger herself. So that's it. That's all the books that I'm going to read in October. I think the only reading goal I didn't really touch on is the one that I wanted to try and read less than 70 percent white authors. I'm pretty sure that I'm hitting that target for this TBR as well. I was trying to get my average rating up and I think I'm doing okay with that as well because I think in September my average rating actually was trending upwards so that's good. Overall my reading is going well. I think I'm pretty happy with my October TBR. I think there should be some good books in there and as well it doesn't seem like it'll be too challenging. Uh, but do let me know if you have read any of the books that I've got on this TBR whether you think I'm going to like them and check back in at the end of the month when I do my wrap up to see what I thought about them. Otherwise thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are doing well. All the best of luck for your reading in October and I will see you next time.